there is a, a business need to have a diverse workforce, we make better decisions, we drive better outcomes, the business will grow more successfully, and it's also the right thing to do. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm the National Managing Partner for Clients and Markets. I have been at the firm for 30 years, which sounds like a really, really long time, but it's felt like careers within a career. So I've been in the audit division. Um, I've been part of the public sector government division. Um, I have been part of the consulting team. I worked in the tax practice. I've worked in private clients. I've audited energy and mining clients. Um, and now I actually look after some of our largest accounts across the firm. So as my career evolved. Um, I thought long and hard about the sorts of roles I wanted to play within the firm. And there were a number of areas within the firm where I looked at senior people in those roles. And there weren't a lot of female leaders in those roles. One of those roles is what we call a CLP, which is a client lead partner. And that is where you get the opportunity to be the lead relationship partner between our firm, PwC, and whichever client that you're working with. And typically, it was much older, really experienced um, male partners. And, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but I also wanted the opportunity to think about, well, how do we break the mold of some of that? So I set myself on a mission. I spoke to lots of the senior partners to ask what would it take for me to be given one of those roles. And I worked really hard at making sure I had the right skills, I built the right relationships and created the right opportunities. And now I lead the whole portfolio of those client relationship partner roles. And of the top 20 that we have in the firm, about a third of them now have females leading those accounts. I have definitely become better at putting myself forward for roles that I'm not 100% qualified for. I think that's something you learn and get better at over the course of your career. And um, often we default to thinking about the five reasons why we can't do the role rather, rather than the five reasons that we can. I think when I first started at PwC 30 years ago, women were a bit more of a novelty. And so often felt it like I was in the situation where I was the only female in the room or, um, or excluded, I guess, sometimes from some of the conversations, some of the opportunities. I don't feel like that now. And I need to make sure that our talent joining now doesn't feel like that either. Success for me, for our female talent joining the firm today, is that they don't even really think about the fact that they are female. We no longer have to talk about the fact that we have any kind of gender pay gaps or different opportunities or lower percentages of female partners. There've been a couple of pivotal moments in my career one of them was making the decision to leave Sydney and go and work in London for four years. It was hard. It was really hard. I remember spending the first you know, year, probably a year, six months to a year, really trying to settle in, build a client network, establish myself with the rest of the partners. Kids were young. Kids were six and eight. My husband was, um, had a really busy job. And it was hard. But when I look back at it now, that's probably one of the times in my career that I learned the most. For me, global experience is really important because we do have a tendency um, to become more insular in our thinking and, and the more effective we can be working with our clients who operate globally, who want global insights, the better position we are if we've had the global experience ourselves. So how we help our female talent create those right opportunities to travel, um, work overseas and get that global experience is really important. So one of the things I'm very passionate about is trying to facilitate that happening more in the future.